Hey, what is up guys? Jeremy here and in this video I'm going to be explaining to you what the issue is with the iOS 8 jailbreak and the reboot loop which so many people are encountering and it's pretty annoying for people because the only way to get out of it is to basically put your device into uh, recovery mode or DFU mode and then to restore your device completely which is going to cause you to have to re-jailbreak and do all the process again, download all your tweaks again. Uh, so I hope this video helps you guys out. Um, so the issue with the jailbreak and that reboot loop, what is causing it? Uh, from all the research that I've done, the, the issue is passcode lock and touch ID. Uh, if you guys have those enabled and you reboot your device, uh, you're going to get stuck in that reboot loop. Uh, I, I would say probably like 90% of the time. Um, I actually had it happen to me like two days ago uh, when I went to go and install Winterboard. Since Winterboard requires a reboot, I had my passcode lock enabled and I got stuck in that loop and it caused my device to get pretty hot while I was trying to get it to turn back on uh, and when your device heats up like that it's really not good for the battery uh, it actually can, can deteriorate the uh, life of your battery by doing that so um, like I said the issue is passcode lock now as you guys can see I'm obviously jailbroken uh, it is the iPhone 6 iOS 8.1 uh, I do not have passcode lock enabled, as you guys can probably tell just by doing that. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and power my device off. Every time I do this, it's a little bit nerve-wracking, but uh, since I don't have the passcode lock enabled or Touch ID, it's going to boot back up, no problem. So the issue with this and the reason why it's happening to so people is because uh, after you jailbreak your device... Um, you basically go through this, the, you know, the kind of mini setup process of like getting a new phone after you jailbreak, which is going to allow you to uh, enter your iTunes passcode or your, yeah, your iTunes passcode, also to use iCloud, and then it also has you set up Touch ID and passcode lock right then and there. Uh, so make sure you skip through that. You can obviously um, use passcode lock and Touch ID, just make sure that you're not going to have to reboot your device. Uh, so that's what I'd recommend. You can still use them. Just make sure that if you're going to have to reboot it, to turn them off before you do that. Otherwise, you will get stuck in the reboot loop, like I, like I said, guys. So, um, you know, not much we can do right now uh, just because the jailbreak and everything just needs to be updated. We're basically in the beta stages of the jailbreak, which is a given. We're kind of like playing with fire this early in the game. Uh, but, you know, for you diehard jailbreakers, of course, this is kind of a cool experience because I've been experiencing jailbreaks ever since iOS 3, and they've all kind of had their different, you know, things here and there, uh, different processes, and it's, it's definitely a cool thing. Now, you guys will notice after you reboot your device, if you don't have your passcode lock enabled and you come back uh, onto your device, and as you guys can see, this is pretty much like stock iOS 8. None of my Cydia tweaks are working, and that's because uh, Cydia Substrate needs to be updated as well. Uh, so the trick to get your, your tweaks back is to just do a respring. Uh, so you basically just respring your device and it will enable Cydia Substrate, which will enable all your tweaks. The way I do this is I just use a tweak that has uh, a respring button in it. Go ahead and respring my device. And as you guys see when it's done doing this, all of my Cydia tweaks will be re-enabled. Uh, so that's pretty much it, guys. That's the main issue with the reboot loop. Uh, something you definitely want to avoid because like I said if it happens you're gonna have to restore your device I have not seen any way to get out of it to get back you know to get your device back turned on uh, it's just kind of inevitable inevitable if you have your passcode on so make sure your passcode lock and touch ID is off before you reboot your device that's my advice guys uh, be sure to like and comment and share this video so that more people can see it because hopefully this helped you out. If it did help you out, definitely throw me a thumbs up as well. That really helps my channel out a lot. And if you guys want to see more iOS 8 jailbreak coverage, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been Jeremy, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later!